Hello and welcome to a video tutorial from shopintegrator.com. In this tutorial we'll show you how to easily customise the appearance of your shop's checkout. So we'll start by taking a look at my demonstration shop which is here and I'm going to add a product to the basket just so we've got something to look at in the checkout process and I'm going to click the view basket to show us what our checkout currently looks like. So there's our washing machine product. Now you can see these um, colours here, uh, this red colour and the text in yellow is basically taking the same colour values as are used in our e-commerce plugins. So what I'm going to do is, is close that and I'm going to show you how you can change those colours because they not only affect these e-commerce plugins here, but they also affect your checkout. So I'm going to go to shopintegrator.com, click log on log into the admin console and go to appearance manager and what you can see in this third section here is the setting of these colors so you click the colors tab the color theme is this background color in the top of the tables so what I'm going to do is change that to an orange color the text on color theme is the text color so I'm going to change that to a black. The background colour is this background colour here that just forms the background of these boxes here. So I'm going to set that to a pale yellow colour, perhaps something like that. And then text on background is the text that appears on top of that background colour. So I'm going to change that to a let's have a uh, perhaps a dark red colour, something like that. And then what I can do is I can save those changes and what I'm also going to do is I'm going to quickly jump into the button tab and just quickly change the button set to the orange set which will go slightly better with these colours. I'm going to save all changes, jump back to my shop, jump into the shopping cart again and we can see that the background colour has changed to orange and the text colour has changed to black. So that's the first thing you can do to customise your checkout is get these background colours and text colours um, to match your you know your site's appearance. So I'm going to close that and I'm going to jump back into the admin console into the appearance manager. Now the first section in the appearance manager the checkout process appearance settings what you can do is add your own images. So what I'm going to show is how you can add a banner to the top of that checkout page. So I'm going to click assign image, I'm going to click choose file and I'm going to pick up a graphic I've prepared earlier. Now this image is 710 pixels wide by 50 pixels high. You can obviously make it whatever size you feel is appropriate for your checkout screen but I'd recommend going for dimensions something like that and you can always um, tweak them later on. So I'm going to click OK I'm going to click upload new file and there's my very simple example banner there and what you can do is, is check how that image is aligned. Now because this image is going to pretty much occupy the full width of the checkout it probably doesn't actually matter which of these three options you select for a banner this wide but I'm going to leave it on centre because that's a fairly sensible option I'm going to click save all changes and then I'm going to jump back into my demonstration shop and I'm going to view basket and what we'll see is that that banner has now appeared below these icons here and above this um, text element here. So obviously you could add your corporate banner there as required. This is 50 pixels high, you can make it any height you like. 
Now what I'm going to also do is jump back into Appearance Manager. I'm going to remove that banner. I'm going to click Assign again. Click Choose File. And what I'm going to do is pick up a different shaped um, logo. And this one is 40 pixels by 40 pixels. I'm going to open that. Upload New File. And save all changes. Then I'm going to set that to be left aligned and save all changes. And I'm going to jump back into my demo shop, click View Basket, and there you can see that logo has appeared over on the left hand side. Now, let me close that. Clearly, what you can do is you can reposition that graphic in your checkout using the left, centre and right options and obviously how you configure this is going to depend on what sort of graphic you're going to want to display there and finally obviously I can set that to right alignment save changes jump back in and there's the graphic on the right hand side so Basically, you've got four main options you'll probably want to explore. One is putting in a full width banner, and the other op three options are placing a, a smaller logo, either left aligned, right aligned, or center aligned. So, adding logos and banners and changing the background color and text color are the ways you can customize your checkout screen. Thank you for watching and be sure to check out our other tutorials. If you enjoyed this tutorial then please remember to click the like button and if possible share with your friends and family on your favourite social networking sites. Thank you.